rampant mismanagement, what do they mean? What happened? Well, Andrew, uh, the, the investigators found that there was rampant mismanagement or mismanagement on several different fronts, uh, both at the railway ministry and they said also at the company that produces the signaling technology that was to blame for this crash. Now, this was a highly anticipated report. It was meant to rebuild public trust. And for the most part, the report was relatively transparent. A lot of people were saying that uh, the names were named of people as well as companies. Also, uh, they were uh, talking about how uh, there was a lot of technical detail in this report. There were a lot of diagrams as well, again, all in an effort to try to win over the public and to get the public to realize that the government is doing all it can to really try to investigate this crash fully. Uh, the public was outraged back in July at the way the government and the authorities had handled the train crash. And so there's still a lot of skepticism out there. In fact, uh, for the most part, online, uh, the, pub, the general consensus has been that uh, the findings themselves uh, and the cause uh, are, seem to be believable. However, uh, people still are very skeptical about the way the government had assigned blame to, um, because, uh, uh, to this crash. Uh, people are saying that 54 people are going to be facing punishment, but the three people who have been singled out are either in jail or dead. So they really don't have a way to fight these charges. Andrew. So China says it will continue with its high-speed rail network. What will change in future development, uh, Eunice, do you think from this report? Is it clear in the report that they are going to do things differently? Well, it's not clear that they are going to do things differently. Uh, they say that they're going to continue to improve on their technology. And in fact, uh, what I guess is clear is that they don't want this to be an indictment on their train technology or their train program at all. Uh, for a lot of people here have been saying that this uh, report has also uh, uh, been uh, the, the, another reason why they have this report is because it's meant to try to shore up confidence in the industry that they have themselves. Chinese companies have also been looking overseas to try to sell their train technology in the overseas markets. And there's been a lot of skepticism and concern that the signaling technology that was used in Wenzhou back in July is used on a lot of di other different lines here in trains and subways. Well, the report this time said that, yes, that's true, that the uh, signaling equipment has been used in other lines, but they said that back in August, all of those uh, uh, design flaws have been fixed, so this isn't a concern anymore. So again, they don't want this to um, really be an indictment on China's train technology or its train program as a whole.